Welcome back, guys, to Atelier Riser 3, Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key. Well, last episode, after a bit of further exploration around the village between the mountains, we returned to the Atelier to make a divine fishing rod and improved it with item rebuilding. We then started to work out which way it was to the east wall of the ruins to gain entry, finding it as we now head inside. Explore the ruins depths. Here we go. May as well use a pristine key on this. Collapsed wall, attack increase up small and trait level up small for an adventure effect. Yes. Right then. Say, what are you over there, buddy? Different varieties of these guys here. Is my imagination on they noticing me from further away now? I saw a spider web in that cutscene, but... Seems less... Noticeable to me now. <laughs> you can't stop me. I'll gather everything. Oh, look at this. There should be some new materials in a place like this, you'd have thought. Be prepared for disappointment. Rice is thinking of a new recipe. <laughs> Alright, where do we go? What do we see first? The real issue is, of course, trying to see if there is... ...any new spawns in the area. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need that basket upgrade soon. Let's reveal a massive section of this bit. Okay, there was another area upwards that we could have gone to via that massive swamp. But it's proper big, that bit. Oh, we got night armors too. Looking at it, I seriously might want to invest in a new armor. Says the guy uncomfortable with taking any damage whatsoever. Is there a way to climb back up if I go down here? Oh yeah, the rubble itself should be fine. We've always got the thing. The warp. Some rat bar water. I think the most standout thing we're finding still in this area is the Yugdor water. Uh, steps. Steps out. Do you give SP? Ooh. They could be kind of hard. But they give those swords, and those swords have quite good value to them. I think if I look at things on some values... Could be worth a lot to me. I think we're out of CC at this point. Let's try and keep Deanne alive. You guys have regen. It should be fine. I believe in the capability of you guys surviving what's coming your way.
I mean, you didn't even kill this guy, so that's a bit disappointing. Alright, five ancient swords. Not a bad bit of uh, battle-based gathering when you think about it. Where are we off to? What are these? Yep, it's in good condition. These are seas of light. I didn't know they came boxed in such numbers. Huh, they almost look a bit like glass sculptures. Only the box ones in good condition could be used for the devices. So the role of the gleaners is to find these, I see. They're just in boxes. There have been less around to be picked recently, so people will be happy with this amount. And again, this is just another gleaner's day. Isn't being a gleaner a job with history and tradition? One that's been handed down for generations. Yeah, but I hate it. This gloomy, miserable work. Digging up others ruins. Oh. Anyway, make sure you don't go past the clairvoyance. The clairvoyance? That. I don't know how it works, but if you go past that thing without permission, the chief will find out and you'll get caught. Jeez, permission again. The chief says that going beyond this point is forbidden for ruins preservation reasons. There aren't enough seeds, but entry is forbidden. I don't know, but I guess it's an important zone. Isn't that why those two wanted to investigate? So Ampel was caught because of this. I'm guessing so. Riza, is something wrong? Yeah. Let me take a look. Hey, be careful not to trigger it, alright? I see. So this is how it works. You figured something out already? Not completely, but somewhat. Maybe it was good we helped adjust that device. Why don't we go back to the village? Let's think about what to do next. Doesn't seem like we can go further anyway. Now that we've got some seeds, let's go report to the chief. So we're not allowed to go past that. Hello. Magic damage, you say? I seriously need to make some better bombs. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> and the other two should be able to do this. <laughs> Let's go back and report to the chief, supposedly. 
I didn't know we were being watched by Big Brother lampposts. <laughs> what happens if I just walk past it a little bit? Tempting, but let's not push things. <laughs> Alright, we're back. It's a bit foggy around here, though. Is that like good boys and girls for now? I really don't get the he holy tree leaves I'm after. Nor have I been getting any SP lately. <laughs> Give me just that little bit more. <laughs> to be honest, to be perfectly fair, we're obviously about to craft a solution, right? This guy has also lost an uni charm. <laughs> Hasn't got the idea yet that I don't want to make one. Ooh. Yeah, what do you say? In our hands, this is nothing. Yes, the quality is fine. A harvest of this quantity is a great help. It shall do for next month's shipment. Take them out of the village for money. And that's why there's not enough in the village. The poor harvest of seas of light has been a chronic situation for decades. There is no direct relationship between trade and shortages in the village. If the harvest is poor, we really shouldn't be taking them out. And you say poor harvest, but they're not even crops. We're just digging around some old ruins. You should learn to hold your tongue, Dian. Anyway, you will be compensated. Oh, my tongue. Not that again. If you bring more, you should be compensated fairly. I'll be counting on you. It's always like this. Am I saying something wrong? Sorry you had to see that. We're going back to the atelier, right? You said you had something to discuss. Oh, yes. A lot to talk about. Let's return to the atelier. That we shall. It's easiest for us just to press this. To explain what we're about to do, I need to start by telling you the purpose of our journey. Dian, this might be a little long. Will you hear me out? Of course I will. If anything, I've been curious for a while now. It's not only our world, but a whole entire other world. Everything is absolutely true. Every word. Even we only know a little bit about it. The whole world is unimaginably large. I got what you said about the underworld. So your purpose is to find gates connected to that place. Ample and Lila's purpose, to be exact. We're researching the Dragon's Passage. Never heard of it. Dragon. Is it related to the Dragon Storm? It might be. Miss Ample and Miss Leela came to this land because they knew there was a connection between the gate to the underworld and dragons. Miss Ryza and the others came in search of clues to the Dragon's Passage related to the code of the universe inscribed on the island. Do I have it right? Yeah, that's right. And the answer to the two mysteries is surely hidden deep in the ruins. So I have a favor to ask you, Dian. We want to search the depths of the ruins, no matter what. For that, we have to stop the clairvoyance and get inside. What? 
So I want you to keep quiet about this, please. Alright. I promise I won't report to the chief or to Deirdre. But I have one condition. Take me to that underworld place. What? I mean, we don't mind at all, but... Aren't you a gleaning warrior? What about your work? You say that Deirdre is like a parent to you. Are you sure? Who cares? I'll make the decisions of my life. It's always like this. Am I saying something wrong? I make the decisions of my life, huh? I understand how you feel, Diane, but we still don't even know if there is a gate. We'll move together until the investigation of the ruins is over. After that, can we think again? Well, I guess that's fine. But what are you going to do about the clairvoyance in the ruins? It's okay. I have an idea for that. I'm thinking to make a tool that interrupts its function. Wow, you can make something like that? I don't know if it'll work though. Let's get to it right away. Disturbing bell recipe. Do I have to equip that? Right, we've got to synthesize it, so if we're going to do that... <laughs> let's go to Cleria. <laughs> and get a little bit more SP. Right, what do we actually make here? We've got the materials, that's nice. It's... Ingots. Wow, it's actually... An accessory? Yes. Cool, I wanted to make a new accessory. Um, I might then make a better ingot first. I love how sometimes things just like, oh yes, I definitely need more accessories and I can make a better one and then I can duplicate it. So if I make a good one with a bit more quality to it, I can be happy. Dare to dream, right? Dare to dream. Looking, seeing. If there's a good trait, do I care about that at this point in time? <laughs> destructive, ample healing. Critical, rather devastating. Destructive 10. Attack and defense charge for whatever. Let's make a very, very good ingot. That's all I'm going to do here. Stat charge. Compression alchemy. What's that? <laughs> reduces CC to 2 by 1, but reduces power. CC can subject can't go lower than 1. Wind God's blessing over here. Enhances all stats temporarily when using the item. Empiric healing. Restores HP during attack and has a random stats effect to the target. Still protection is... Increases defense. So I'll take that and just put that on it. I have a five nectar rock? Okay. Didn't realize I had something like that. What, what, what was on this rock again? How do I check all the, like, loop info? No. Uh, auto add materials? No. Related? No. Change display. Attack defense charge plus plus. 
attack speed charge plus plus. So you can actually see what you're getting there to get even more like adds on to it after all. That's a lot of traits. Okay. We're making some good stuff. So the only one I have is a demon uni. I have one of them. I want to increase this. Have we not somehow managed to increase this elemental value yet? Seems like a big nope. I, I want more elemental value, please. Also, why bolt when it's ice? I don't even know what I'm doing myself most of the time. Guess it doesn't really matter. There we go, it's up to two. Go with that. Won't that tip the chief off if we disable it and disrupt it? Yeah, I'm sure it won't. No, don't worry about it. Like, it totally won't, uh, like, uh, the chief won't go, oh, it's suddenly not activated anymore. You know? <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> no, 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 no. That never happens. I know what you're talking about. Absolutely no clue what you're talking about. I not get, did I not get attack and defense charge on it? Did I fail somehow? Did I make a whoopsie? I need to duplicate this thing. Oh, it comes with speed. I don't even need to make it good, but the quality actually does affect. Amber fragments. Is that going to give me even more attack speed charge up? I think I've messed up a little bit there. HP plus 20. It's weird looking at it from like the trait pluses. Do you know what I mean? I've not even done all the things yet. Oh. Oh, attack speed charge even more with this one. Yeah, yeah. Now we got secret key time. Attack increase, bolt increase. It depends what I want. It's like, I don't really need to do that now that I look at it. Oh, it could give me one trait slot. Even more attack speed charge. Uh, trait slots for days. Evasion percentage. Even more speed, maybe. It's not hard to get. Speed plus 20, speed plus 30. Uh, this could be pretty good. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'll take that. What does stats power do? Greatly increases all stats. So that's a plus 5. The stats charge is plus 6. Attack and speed charges. So this is stats charge, stats power. That looks pretty good. 54 speed on this. HP plus 20, evasion plus 2%, speed plus 20, resistance SE. Special effects plus 5%. There you go. I need to duplicate this thing's stat. And finished. What's this? It's a bell to interrupt that device's function. If it works, we might be able to stop it. The synthesis never ceases to amaze me, Miss Riza. 
Do you want to go try it now? No, wait a minute. Hey, dear. Do you think we could maybe at least talk to Uncle? Right. It might be better to at least see that he's okay and talk about our tactic. We'll raise suspicion if we go from the front, so we need to be stealthy. I suggest we go at night when it's harder to be seen. I think I could guide you there if all you need to do is talk with him. Okay, let's go with that. Alright, at nightfall, let's gather at the back of the chief's manor. Try to keep a low profile. Okay, so if I now go to battle prep, that was definitely an accessory, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, like you can see the gains. It's like nearly 50 attack. It's a nice whack of defense. Health goes up quite a bit. Speed goes up an absolute ton. So if I got that for everyone, <laughs> we'd be laughing, right? I can item rebuild that to push it up even further. I see how much it takes to duplicate it at this juncture. Can't duplicate it. Only one unique item. 10,600. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I did make it pretty good. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I could duplicate it for some people. <laughs> What if I rebuild it a little bit more and then make it completely stupid so therefore, like, I can't really do it anymore? <laughs> it's level 23 now. And I'm pretty sure I can easily take it to, like, the next tier of speed. At the very least, that I can do. Okay, so now how much does it cost to duplicate? Eleven thousand eight hundred. Okay. Uh, so what if I were to... <laughs> do, 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 do. What would I want it to be? Obviously speed is best, but what if I would go with defense? <laughs> now it seems very much that this is built for getting speed put on it. And you can put a fair bit of attack on it if you wanted to. If I go by defense, everything comes up speed. So by speed... Gonna make it even more silly. <laughs> My god, attack and speed charge plus plus level 29 now. <laughs> it's an S rank item. Oh, okay. I mean, I could have made it even better because it looks like I haven't even unlocked the thing to do multiple things on the thing. Now, how much does it cost to duplicate? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to farm gems in the future because it seems if I make one craft that is anywhere near semi-decent. Oh, that did it. Oh, cool. 99 speed. Yeah, we'll make uh, three, four, four of these. <laughs> That was that's just from the materials I've been gathering anyway. I haven't done any grind whatsoever apart from what you see me do. So this is great. Uh, meanwhile, we are gonna get staff gathering raised to level three as well. So yeah. I'd say uh, things have changed a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, do you want twenty HP, four attack, four defense, and zero speed? Or would you like this?
Put your hand up if you say just yes to everything. Yes. <laughs> would you like zero, 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 or would you like this, boss? Same for you. <laughs> and that's on the accessory. <laughs> okay, we gotta go back to the chief manor at night. <laughs> Let's rest till night time. Forgot about that, you bitch. <laughs> hey, job done. Puny, you just stay here. We're totally not more powerful than we were before. Let's just hope that one of those items doesn't have to be used. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Stat increase. <laughs> Wasn't even that ridiculous, was it? <laughs> Like, like, you could do a lot worse in this game. Oh, wait. I'm in the wrong place. Just popped out of town. I was like, oh. Where am I? Oh, there's a load of more quest things have appeared in the meanwhile. Character quest galore in front of me. Don't need a random quest unless you want to give me what want me to give one of those uni charms into you. Bonk. Yeah, I'll go for a holy armor branch. It's my golden axe. Right. What's going on next? The village of Fali. Hmm, I didn't think there'd be a village out there that's as much in the middle of nowhere as ours. They say there's always the bigger fish, but being the smallest, not easy either. Our village is careful not to attract visitors. No wonder it's remote. I've travelled around a bunch and it turns out there are more tiny villages than you'd think. Were they only smaller than ours? Yeah. And I don't mean some hermit family hiding from people. An actual working village, but also more remote than ours. I thought Kirken Island was the middle of nowhere, but I came back and thought... Hey, not half bad. Well, if you say so. Doesn't feel right, though. Oh, yeah, and this might be my bias. But it seems they've got a lot of bigoted, small-minded people. You know, kind of harsh towards outsiders, staring a lot. I think that's just you looking shady, Lent. Is it like the half a dozen of one and stuff thing? Oh, we haven't even got this yet. We'll see. Give me special fishy fish. Imperial fish, now that we've got our divine fishing rod. 